exhaling smoke might be my new trademark. I think I found a hook. No, I'm kidding. It's disgusting. Hi, guys. Greetings from a rainy... Ow. Click my neck. It's snowing and raining and hailing and cold and really miserable. Can you hear the clicking, the crunching hail? I don't know if my phone will pick that up. But come on, springtime, Mother Nature, what the hell? It's April 5th. I want to see robins and fat little worms and baby things and sprouts and buds. And it's like hailing. I am so tired. I'm so drained. I'm so cranky. Um, the last thing I need is to talk about Amberlynn Reed drama. I can't wait till 8 o'clock. Go home. I go to bed like immediately. I'm not kidding either. I don't even watch TV anymore. That's why next month I'm canceling my cable. Well, no. I have um, I have HBO through my Amazon Prime, I think, and I can watch Game of Thrones through my Fire Stick. Um, I live for Thrones. I can't believe I haven't really mentioned that yet to you guys. We're already in April. Yes, in a couple of Sundays, it's going to be the season, the last season premiere, the premiere of the last season ever of Game of Thrones. I want you guys to tell me who watches it. Oh my God. I'm, I'm like a Throne fan. It's the only show I've ever really binge-watched, except for The Sopranos, which I didn't think I'd like, but somebody I was dating at the time during my first separation got me hooked on it. He was Italian, too, from Brooklyn. Then I married an Italian from the Bronx, and he really he really talks like a Soprano. We used to watch it together all the time, and he'd be like, I hate all these freaking stereotypes. And I'm like, you are a stereotype. <laughs> all right, I'm punchy punchy and pudgy. And speaking of which, no, I'm not going to say it. Um, my phone looks very distorted. I was messing around with the camera settings earlier and it was like zooming in and zooming out and doing weird things. So I don't know. I should just shut my phone off and then turn it back on again. But I wanted to say hello. It's been a very busy morning, uh, driving residents around to appointments and things. And I had two hours sleep last night. Been here since eight. So it's a 12-hour shift. I'm actually dizzy. Smoking probably doesn't help, but it helps my nerves and anxiety right now for reasons I am not at liberty to disclose. It's very, very strange and disconcerting when people don't like you for no reason. Although my friend who works here says, oh, there's a reason. You, you're, you're too smart and you show people up and they're intimidated by you. And I'm like, I don't think so, but thanks, I think. Um, Amberlynn Reed is very well hated and disliked, but for good reasons. I don't even feel guilty about it anymore. I, I, I try, I used to try every time I'd watch one of her videos, which I don't anymore, um, to find something likable or redeemable. Early on, like maybe two years ago when she was doing more outdoorsy, not outdoorsy, but like out of her house type things with friends and especially like palling around, you know, in parks and stuff with Sharla and, Libby and um, Destiny, like she would have moments of true laughter, like not the fake laughter she does, but she'd like truly laugh. And I used to think like she was a fun, loving, youthful, pretty, fat girl. There's nothing wrong with being fat. Fat's just a descriptive, but she's not fat anymore. She's super extra morbidly obese. And um, when I saw snippets of her last video through, uh, through you, Sabina, thank you. I, I watch it on the sly when I can at work. Um, and I saw her arms, I was just like, I mean, I actually feel sorry for her organs. Is that a thing to like feel sorry for somebody's organs? Her organs must see that food coming down and be like, all right, guys, here we go. You know, her, her liver, her pancreas, I don't care what she freaking says about being healthy. There is not a doctor in the world that's going to tell her she's fine, but just big. Like that time she told that to Becky during that fake reaction thing that she filmed. Oh, God, I didn't even want to talk about her today. I just wanted to come on and say hey-ho. Hey-ho, hope everyone's having a better Friday than me. Tell me what the weather's like in your neck of the woods or your country. Tell me if you like thrones or not and who you love on that show, who you hope winds up winning the Iron Throne eventually. Um, I'm thinking it'll probably be, well, it might be Khaleesi. Maybe Arya or maybe John. Um, 
You know who I always had a crush on in that show? And I tell this to people and I th they think I'm insane. But it's because I like older men and I find, like, authoritative men very sexy. Not overbearing, controlling, type A, arrogant bastards, which I've, I've also been attracted to and I'm sort of a magnet for. But I, I had a crush on Tywin Lannister. Not Tyrion, but Tywin, his dad, who was sitting on the shitter when he got a crossbow to the heart by Tyrion. But, um... I guess that's a spoiler if you've been watching past episodes. But I thought he was sexy as hell. Big, tall, British Charles Dance. Mm, 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 mm. That's my type, y'all. All right, now I'm just being silly. I'm trying to avoid going inside to the Scream Factory. I love you guys. Thank you for watching my daily drivel. Drivel in the drizzle. <laughs> See, look, here's what it's doing out there. See the rain coming down? The nicer weather is coming, though. Okay, guys, I love you. Peace out.